the Kosher Cupboard where we focus on kosher, keto, and low carb using healthy fresh ingredients. Today we're making a mousse, a chocolate mousse, and it's really rich and creamy even though it has no dairy, it's parv. It also doesn't have any artificial dairy ingredients, which many times those artificial dairy ingredients have a lot of chemicals and high fructose corn syrup. So let's make some chocolate mousse. So the ingredients for this parv chocolate mousse is three medium avocados, or you can use two large avocados. I have about a half a cup of uh, cocoa powder here. It's preferable that it's a raw cocoa powder. Some would prefer to use cocoa nibs, and I've tried that before, and grinding them up in a coffee grinder, but it still ends up making the mousse taste a little bit gritty. So I did take the, the cocoa powder and I ran it through a screen to get out, to push all the lumps out so that it was all uniform. And you can use a half a cup to three quarters of a cup, depending on how chocolatey you want it. And then we have a quarter to a half a cup of water. So I have the half a cup of water and I'll just pour in as much as I need to make it the right consistency. And then I have just under half a cup of Swerve, which is erythritol. You could also use monk fruit, which I think I'm going to try that next time. Um, and I, I want to make sure it doesn't get too sweet, so it does call for about a half a cup of the erythritol, but so I'm going a little bit on the low end of it, and I can always add a little bit more later. And then I have about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt, and I found these wonderful little measuring tools. I did not know how much a pinch of salt was, and so I found these, and it just makes it consistent in my cooking that one of these is a pinch, one is a dash, and one is a smidgen. So it just helps me to be more consistent with the amount I put in something. And then I have two tablespoons of coconut oil. So first we'll just throw these avocados in the And they should be soft. You want to make sure that they're good and soft. They could even be to the point where they're a little bit too ripe. And it does work best in a high-powered blender. I have not tried it in a regular blender. Okay, spring, just sprinkled in the cinnamon and the salt. Now this is the two tablespoons of um, coconut oil. And then the uh, just under half a cup of erythritol. And then the um, cocoa powder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in about half of the water, so a quarter cup of the water. And then we'll just start the blender. It tastes pretty good. I think it's got the right amount of sweetness to it. Um, I think all it needs is maybe a little bit more water and a little bit more blending to get all of the avocado smoothly blended in there.
I started it on a little bit lower setting and then went higher on the setting. Then I want to really get it blended up nice and fluffy. So I'm going to get it up to a high blend. to go ahead and uh, get it into the little dishes. Okay, so I have just a simple one quart bag that I'm going to put inside this measuring cup just to make it easier for me to fill it up. And I have mousse. Keeping the air in, and then I'm just going to take the scissors, then I'm going to just take the scissors and snip off a corner. And then I can just squeeze the bag and fill up. Once you have them in the containers that you want to serve them in, or you could even put them just in a bowl and then put it into the serving containers later. They just need to go in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or an hour for them to get a little bit more solidified. But actually, they're pretty good right now. Would you like to try one? Excellent. watching and if you like this video and even if you didn't hit the like button and please subscribe and if you want notifications please hit the bell and let me know how this recipe worked out for you I'm really curious if it would work in a food processor if someone doesn't have a high-powered blender so please let me know if that works and you can leave a message in the comments below or you can email us at thekoshercupboard at gmail.com Thanks again and see you in the next video.